Hey everyone, George here and welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be talking about this particular item right here. It's called the Fluval Nano. It's called the Model 7500K. Some of you may be familiar with it already if you have nano tanks or smaller tanks. Now when I say nano tank, I mean anything from a 5 gallon all the way up to a 20 gallon this thing does everything now this is not going to be a true unboxing because i have actually been using this for about a week now so that i could learn about it and tell you guys all the information that you are going to need to know to make an informed decision about whether or not this light is good for you this thing is loaded with all kinds of uh, fun toys and tools that you can use to make lighting a lot easier for you all kinds of different spectrums, all kinds of different settings, things that, uh, I, I mean, it's just absolutely loaded. So anyway, stick with me and we'll be right back. So as I said in my intro, this is the Fluval Nano. It is the model 7500K. Uh, it is for nano and desktop aquariums and it really is designed for plants. And uh, the reason, uh, I wanted to talk about this particular one is because I have uh, really been switching my lighting over here recently to some uh, lights that are a little bit more sophisticated and less work for me. Uh, lots of tanks to turn on and stuff like that. You can actually put these on all of your tanks and control them all in one particular uh, app that goes on your phone. So. Now this is called uh, the Fluval Nano, as I said, it's a plant spectrum LED, which means that it's really designed around the idea of growing plants. Now it is 15 watts and uh, it gives you about 50,000 hours of lighting, which is a lot. That's a lot of uh, lighting that you're going to get out of this uh, particular uh, lamp over time. Now, when we come back, we're gonna talk a little bit about the uh, lamp itself. We're going to go through some of the features of it and uh, we'll do that when we come back. So one of the first things you're going to want to do when you uh, get this item here is you're going to want to download this app right here and this is uh, it's called the Fluval Smart app and basically what that's going to do is give you every opportunity to run this light as far as the timing uh, it has features as far as sunrise, sunset. It has uh, features where clouds will come over and that sort of thing. I mean, these are all programmable features that you can easily get on your Android phone or your uh, Apple phone as well. So this is not limited to any particular phone. It has got a lot of uh, uh, abilities to it that are just really phenomenal and I'm going to show you some of these things uh, as we go through this but we're going to talk about the lamp itself here and uh, I'm going to take a look at this now one of the things that I would tell you about this particular lamp that I like about it is it fits pretty much any aquarium out there this is not limited to any particular size aquarium, any thickness of glass. Um, you're gonna be able to put this on just about anything that you want to. And it just basically uh, screws on back here. Let's see if I can unscrew it. And uh, it'll go up and down based on that, but it'll also pivot, as you can see. It does have a feature where it does pivot on it on um, the bar here and it goes in either direction which is kind of nice if you have something that is kind of set up in a kind of a way that uh, makes it difficult for you to uh, let me tighten this back down real quick so I don't have to play with that but uh, if you have a situation where um, you want to be able to turn the light in a certain direction maybe you've got this thing clipped onto something off to the side of the aquarium because uh, this is kind of a big footprint on this thing. It's really not small. So you really do need to be able to um, be able to put it on something where it's not going to, you know, be overwhelming to the size of the tank. Now it also has a feature where it pulls out here and slides in, as you can see. And the cord, of course, is adjustable as well so that it goes down inside a hole right here and out the bottom. 
and uh, it's always out of the way. It's got a little bit of a clip up inside here, so you're going to be able to uh, clip that along there and never see that cord other than just this little small portion of it right here, which is truly out of your way. Now, as I said, the spectrum on this thing is really quite incredible. You've got the red, the pink, the blue, the white, um, the off-white. Uh, there's so many different variations of colors in this lamp that uh, it really is quite incredible uh, when all is said and done, how many features it truly does have. So as I said in my intro, this is a very sophisticated lighting system. This is not for somebody who is afraid of technology or doesn't want to play around with a lot of technology because this thing offers up a tremendous amount of different settings that are going to be a little bit intimidating for the average person. If you're somebody that has uh, had these kind of lights before that are programmable, then this guy is probably for you. Now this is one of their latest out there. It's not, um, as I said, it's not something that is going to be for a beginner. It's going to be for somebody that has a little experience here. Um, I love this thing. I've been working with it for about a week now and uh, it is uh, really kind of fun to download that app start playing around with it. Now one of the things that I would tell you is one of these, if you have a larger tank than 20 gallons, if, you have, if you've got 20 gallons or less, one of these is going to work just fine. But if you do have a larger tank, why, my recommendation and what I have seen some of my friends do is take two or three of these and uh, clip them to their system because what you can do is you can control all three of them with one app and have them all come on at the same time. You basically just download them through your Bluetooth, you set them up identical and have them come on during the day and uh, go off during the day at the exact same time. You can duplicate that uh, by just, you know, as I said, setting each one to be exactly the same. And that's what I would recommend to you if you have a larger tank. These are fantastic lights. They're some of the best that I've ever used as far as growing plants and that sort of thing. I have a friend that has one of these and he's been using it now for about three months. And I would tell you, if you have a non-CO2 tank and you're depending on light to really make your plants grow and come alive, um, you know, that's not the only thing, obviously, that makes plants grow and come alive, but it certainly does help. And one of the things that I would say to you is this would be for you if that's what you're looking to do. Now, when we come back, we're going to rate this thing. We're going to talk about it from a, uh, a rating of 1 to 10, 1 being not the greatest and 10 being the best. And we're going to talk about that when we come back. Hang in there with me. So... The Fluvo Nano 7500K, what I would say about this is it is a fantastic piece of equipment. And as I said, it's not cheap. So if you are going out to buy something like this, I would not suggest this for a beginner because you're gonna spend a lot of money on this and really be kind of frustrated with it if you're not familiar with how to set these things up because it can be a little bit intimidating. Uh, that would be the downfall to this thing. In other words, if I were to talk you uh, out of this, it would be for somebody who really doesn't have the patience for it or the need for it, to be honest with you. So if you're a serious scaper, if you're someone who's really interested in keeping your plants in top shape, uh, maybe using this by itself or using it along with a CO2 system, this is going to be a great system for you. Now it does have a 24 hour cycle on it, meaning that the switch comes off and on in the morning and based on whatever your settings are, I think it has 10 different settings during the day for it to change to different scenarios, which is really kind of cool. Now you don't have to use all 10 of them. If you only want to use two and you want to make it as simple as turning uh, this thing off and on uh, in the mornings um, and turning it off at night, that's kind of a waste of what this thing would do, but it really does have a lot of opportunities to make adjustments on here 
that are really going to be geared towards your particular scenario. So uh, if I'm going to rate this thing and uh, talk to you, uh, you know, with, with real honesty from my experience with it, I would give this an 8 to a 9 because it is absolutely spectacular. I did not find it hard to set this up at all. Um, the app that is downloaded on your phone, uh, it's called, called the Fluval Smart app, and uh, it, it really is self-explanatory. It's not hard at all to set up, but again, if you're a beginner, it may be a little bit intimidating for you. So if I'm, like I said, if I'm, I'm looking at this thing on a, uh, a rating system of one to 10, I'm calling this an eight or a nine. And the reason why I'm not quite giving it a 10 is not because the product is not superior, it's because of the usability of it. I think that those people out there who are not really uh, that tech savvy or people that are really uh, not you know, having that many tanks and are not really that into the lighting or the plants and, and all of that kind of stuff, this is kind of going to be overkill for you and it's also going to be expensive. These things are running right around 100 bucks a piece by the time you're done with tax and everything. As I said, if you got a 100 gallon tank, throw three of these on there, synchronize them all together, you got a beautiful system. I mean, they're, they're as good as anything that I have. Kessel, any of those kind of lamps that are just top notch, this one here is right up there with it. Fluval has done a fantastic job with this and I could not be more happy. So anyways, thank you for joining me today. Leave your comments down below here. If you have one of these lights and you wanna to add to what I've said already or uh, you wanna ask some questions about this that I didn't cover in here, then go ahead and leave me a comment and I will get back to you. Also, hit that like button and the subscribe button and please share with your friends. Thank you for joining me today. We, uh, I got a bunch, a ton of stuff really coming up here in the next couple of weeks here that we're going to be talking about, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So I hope that you'll join me, and I'll see you on the next one. Until then, we're out of here.